Hey Tropical Fish Keepers, how are you? I hope you are doing great. This is my first of many Tropical Fish Species Highlight on my channel AC Tropical Fish 1993. Today, I'm going to talk to you about, without a doubt, one of the most personable, fun, and goofy fish in the aquarium hobby. Now, this is a fish that is a saltwater fish that comes from Fuiji, Cook Islands, Australia, and other West and South Pacific waters. Ladies and gentlemen, I am talking about the Flame Hawk fish. Now, the Flame Hawk you are staring at in this video just happens to be mine. Yes, that's right. This Flame Hawk in the video is mine. Isn't he such a cutie? Now, when I first saw a flame hawk at the local fish store, my heart melted because I thought it was a very nice fish. So, I jotted down the name and began researching flame hawk fish, and I quickly realized I wanted one, even though it meant I had to not get the fancy shrimps and inverts I wanted, because they'd be lunch for the flame hawk. But anyway, I can't wait to educate you about the flame hawk on today's video. Now, are you wanting to keep a flame hawk in your saltwater aquarium or your reef aquarium? Great! I'm going to provide you some information on keeping this great fish. We're going to start by talking about the fish's body. Now the flame hawk's body is a brilliant flaming red color. It has a very nice black band on its back, black bands around the eyes, and it grows to be about four inches. Now, in my personal experience, flame hawks get to be about four inches, but there is one of my fish stores actually about four and a half inches. So I'm gonna say that flame hawks grow to be about four and a half inches. Now, flame hawks need a tank 20 gallons and up. I personally would suggest and recommend putting a flame hawk in a 40 gallon breeder and above, but you could manage to get away with keeping one in a 20, 29, or 30 gallon tank. Do keep in mind that flame hawks are jumpers, so you're definitely going to need a lid for your aquarium. Now, the flame hawk is a bottom dweller that live in areas where coral heads and stones are present to perch upon and hide in. Now in the home aquarium, where it's a fish only aquarium or a reef tank, it is essential to provide hiding spots and plenty of hiding spots. Use live rock. Your flame hawk will find somewhere to hide in your live rock. Now if there's no hiding spots, uh, available for the flame hawk? Well, less rock equals an aggressive hawkfish. So the more the merrier when it comes to any hawkfish. Now the flame hawk likes to sit on top of rocks or corals to keep watch, ready to pounce on any unsuspecting prey that swims too close, like shrimps and inverts. So do not keep any kind of shrimp or inverts with the flame hawk as they will be a expensive lunch. Now, flame hawks are carnivores. They will eat anything meat. I feed my flame hawk brine shrimp, my essence shrimp, blood worms, and market shrimp. He loves all of those. So they are really good shrimp eaters. So make sure you provide market shrimp and brine shrimp to your flame hawk. Again, folks, I cannot stress the importance of this. Do not keep with shrimp or inverts. They will eat them. Now, as far as tank mates go for the flame hawk, they are compatible with peaceful fish, such as clownfish, gobies, cardinals, um, wrasses, and damsels, and fox faces, and angelfish and butterflies. They may do okay with um, small puffers and smaller triggers, but I definitely would not keep them with groupers or anything that's big enough to eat them. And they also will do 
okay in a reef tank um, just a reef tank with just corals and maybe large starfish and such of that nature but no shrimp so they're good for fish only tanks and reef tanks with no shrimp or small snails so if you are looking for a red fish with lots of personality get a flame hawk fish for your aquarium you're going to love it that my friends is our very first species highlight here on AC Tropical Fish 93. Our next species highlight will be on the Maroon Clownfish and it'll be this Friday. So tune into this channel on Friday to hear me talk about and see my Maroon Clownfish. Thank you for watching. Please post any questions or comments on the Flame Hawkfish in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Enjoy the fish hobby. Peace out, everyone. Aqua Alex signing off.